Okay, so the question comes as, okay, is EDAB release and UE context release one and the same thing? Very interesting question and a lot of people uh, want to know about this. So keep this thing in mind, both of these two things can be same in certain scenarios, but not all the time. What do I mean by this? If, you, if a UE has more than one bearer, meaning if a UE has a default EPS bearer and then other dedicated EPS bearers being established as well, then in that case, if any bearer other than the default EPS bearer is being released, that will be considered as an ERAB release, okay? However, if the last existing bearer, which is the default EPS bearer that also gets released, that is termed as UE context release in common terminology. So what I just told you that is in common terminology. If the last existing default EPS bearer is released, that is UE context release, if any other bearer other than the default EPS bearer is released, that you will term as ERAB release. Now having said that, in case if a bearer, if a UE only has a default EPS bearer and that is being released, then what will you see? Will you see ERAB release counter being pegged or UE context release counter being pegged? In that case, you will see both the counters being pegged, the UE context release counter as well as ERAB release counter, because in that case, both these things will happen, ERAB release and UE context release. So keep this thing in mind. So that's the difference in common terminology, which is used between ERAB and UE context release.